Well, okay, take two of this. I actually just did my take and realized that my microphone wasn't plugged in. So, kudos to me. But yeah, we are back again for the first time in three days doing a video. I was busy with work, and so I apologize for that. But of course, I am done with work now, getting ready to move out of my apartment. It's a crazy busy, but anyway, if you are new, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's get into some hockey content. I'm not going to be using notes today. Kind of weird because I almost always use notes. It's very rare that I don't use notes. But we're just going to talk about some news around the league. Um, a big thing being Bruce Cassidy. Seems like his time in Boston might be close to being done. Uh, Cam Neely for the Bruins recently said that we'll see where it goes about his head coach's future with the team. And you think back for Bruce, came in, done a pretty good job. Of course, this team has some talent. The biggest thing they've been able to do win the Eastern Conference Finals in 2019. And then they lost to the St. Louis Blues, who were the underdogs in that matchup in the Stanley Cup Finals in Game 7. Since then, not a crazy amount of success. A uh, guy that has faced some pretty good teams, ran into Tampa in the second round. And of course, had a game, I think it was a series against New York last year, I want to say that they were ended up losing that one uh, but yeah just kind of frustrating there he does have one more year left on his deal which has kind of gotten me thinking maybe just maybe he'll be around for another year see what happens in my opinion I look at the Bruins and I think they are a good team but they aren't a team that would go on a very very deep run and by that I don't see them being a team that's regularly in the Eastern Conference Finals at the moment with their roster and I don't see them being a team that makes it to the Stanley Cup Finals or wins it. They could because, um, you know, we'll get some of these teams as of late the past, you know, just really over the course of the league that have been maybe not great going on to win it. Um, for Boston, got Olmark and Swayman and that, that's good there. But you got to wonder, is Bergeron going to be there? How much longer is Bergeron going to be there? Do you have the depth, the prospects? I was reading a thing about their prospects the other day. Um, and it kind of got me wondering, would you want to stick around for the future if Bergeron's gone and some of these other guys that are your core guys are aging and not uh, the right side of 30, as you would say, on the wrong side of 30? I don't know. I think Bruce will be there for another year, and I'd say that maybe he parts ways with him. But if he does, I'd imagine he'd get another spot. And moving on to another coach, Rick Bonus was obviously another coach that has been in the news lately. He stepped down from the Dallas Stars role. From what I understand, he stood down. All of his coaching staff is going to be gone. You think back to Rick, his team exactly didn't have dominant regular seasons, but a big thing for them and himself was going to the Stanley Cup Finals that COVID year weren't dominant in that regular season but they were able to run all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals against the Dallas not the Dallas Stars but the Tampa Bay Lightning lost a six in a better matchup for the Lightning than Dallas had some injuries as well that was good the last year missed the playoffs came back this year made the postseason and then ended up losing to Calgary in seven in overtime Unfortunate situation there. Jake Ellinger had one of the best playoff series ever in the analytic era and was a big factor in why they were able to go to seven games. If not for Jake's big performance, you're probably not looking at Dallas going very far in that series. And I don't know, maybe it was kind of like a, hey, do you want to leave? Because, you know, I think we're in a different, you know, fork in the road. Very interesting thing for him. You've got these Dallas prospects that are coming up in the future, relative future, I'd say, that really have made some noise, but also at the same time, more offensive-minded. Probably going to take a little bit of time to develop. Just kind of depends. You never know how these guys will develop. So maybe he was not going to be there. Maybe he didn't want to be waiting for them to develop. Maybe he didn't want them to play that way that they could play. Big thing for him, he's a little bit older. Maybe he wants to take some time away from the game, too. You never know. That's why I'm not going to say, oh, he's done, because maybe he gets another role. He has, you know, quite a bit of head coaching experience, so he could be going. But for Dallas and him, they are going to go their separate ways. Another coach that I wanted to talk about here that's been in the news is a boy, Barry Trotz. Barry is a guy that is a pretty big-name coach. He coached in Nashville, and they had pretty good success. They weren't able to make deep runs, unfortunately, with him. And they were a very nitty-gritty team for our Barry Trotz team. That's not surprising. Went over to the Capitals for four years and won a championship, then left. So that was so weird for him to win that cup, hoist the cup, and then go up to Long Island with the Islanders. 
was there for four years and had some success there as well. Two Eastern Conference Finals appearances, won a playoff round in each of his first three years, brought the island back onto the map. That was big, but of course the last year, not his fault entirely because you look at what they had to go through. They ended up parting ways with him and the two biggest names here that we are seeing surrounding Perry Trotz in terms of teams, Vegas Golden Knights and Winnipeg Jets. Vegas, a team that likes big name players, would probably really like a big name head coach. He would probably put the fire back in the belly for Vegas after they had the first season ever that they missed the playoffs. Not entirely due to the talent, I think a lot of that due to injuries as well. And I think... It could possibly go well. I think if he goes in there, it would go well. This is a team that needs to win now. Guess what? He knows how to win now, and that'd be very interesting. But, of course, the Jets are really the interesting team. Most guys, I would say maybe they won't go there, but Barry, of course, is a Manitoba man himself, and he coached at the University of Manitoba, I believe, and uh, he was there for quite some time. Also, I believe that he was inducted into the Manitoba Hall of Fame back in 2001. So you've got that history. You've got that coaching experience. And you would think maybe if he wants to go back home, you know, it's not like New York. They get probably, I imagine, pretty big winners down. Or they got those nor'easters too as well. So going to Manitoba, he's used to the weather. Maybe he would go there. Of course, he has been in the States for his head coach experience. Preds, Washington, and New York moving up the coast there, I see. So maybe he wants to swing back up north, back to Canada and back to his home province. We'll have to see there. Very interesting, though. Do you want to go there? And is it the right time? Right now, tough to see say but for Barry a guy that can get his team in the right spot on the right track quickly would be an interesting thing for him to go there we'll have to see in other news you've got the Predators not the Predators the Blues and the Avalanche playing tonight and the Blues took the second game of that series curious to see how that one goes there but the one I wanted to talk about specifically is the Lightning and the Panthers they play Monday night and then they play Tuesday night I believe so that will be, or what is today? Today's Saturday. So I think they actually play Saturday night, Sunday night, excuse me, and then Tuesday night. Monday night, I'm going to get it. I've just been busy with work. But they play tomorrow and the day after. So for Florida, they might be able to even up the series by Monday night. And if not, let's say it gets flipped, then Tampa Bay sweeps them by the end of Monday night. Would be very shocking, but that is a big series to follow there as well. But we will be ready with those series reviews as well as series previews for the conference finals. Very excited for this. Very excited for the playoffs. Glad to not have work tonight. Guess what? I'm going to be watching that Avs Blues game. So I'm very excited for that. But if you are new, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. Also like this video if you are a regular as well. I appreciate it so much. And I'm glad to be back, guys. Of course, busy. And hopefully next time I have more notes. So I'm a little bit more focused. But you guys stay safe. You guys have a great night. And everybody go off hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.